Hello, I'm David Sibbett, and this sketch talk is going to show you how to visualize the four flows framework that the Grove Consultant Center National uses to teach facilitation. Uh, this framework is archetypal in that it's so widespread as an understanding of how to divide things up, uh, really going back to ancient times, that even cartoonists have figured out how to do this. So I want to show you that secret here using my Wacom tablet and some drawing. So I've got here a little uh, background sketched out with uh, the four flows indicated by colors. And you can see right away just from this simple horizon line that it represents the landscape. So let's get some people on here. Here's a facilitator and a representative group. And a facilitator has to pay attention to different things. So how do you think about what's important? Well, cartoonists have figured out that um, everybody who's real actually does have their feet on the ground. And they figured out that through shadowing and other things, you can illustrate that. Um, they also know that, that physical objects, um, 3D objects, can be illustrated very simply. And these, this whole three-dimensional level of the four flows is what um, we call the operations level. And it's the level at which you've actually got physical mechanisms that you can count on that allow you to work with the group. Now you can see clearly over here in the picture that if there weren't enough chairs for everybody, that would sort of be a little bit of a problem. Uh, if you didn't have enough uh, paper on your flip chart, uh, if you didn't actually have markers with ink, uh, if you don't have your electronics figured out. So this includes, this includes the time, materials, and resources that the group relies on to do its work. And it's pretty basic and grounded and down here uh, as a 3D level of physical reality. Human beings also have consciousness and they can imagine all kinds of things. And the way cartoonists show imagination is just by pointing at it. And basically this is a whole level that doesn't have any actual representation because it's completely imaginary. And if you think of this as the level of what people are paying attention to, then there's always a flow of focus in a group um, at this level. And so these people here could be paying attention to almost anything. Um, you get clues by looking at their face or looking at their movements, but really this inner world uh, is rich and big and important to pay attention to and even the fact that it doesn't have any dimensionality or physicality makes it no less important. Now in between these two levels is the whole level which uh, very familiar to anybody who's working on charts is the information level and this is represented by the yellow and information is anything that's in some form. And when you really look at text, graphics, and numbers, um, they all work by being inside two-dimensional constraint systems. In the case of texts, it's a sentence structure which has uh, subject, verb, and object. And the fact that you know where that word is in the sentence is one level of constraint and you know what the word points at as its definition is another but the third level is really free and it's whatever the person listening to those words has had experience with it's called technically connotation and it's the feeling and the emotion that's connected to the words and of course that then points at the final level which is the level of the energy flow and included in the energy flow are, is the emotional body of the group and what's happening. And, and emotions really, I think, stands for energy and motion. And 
what's important to know about energy and motion is that it's really constrained by the direction it's going. So are things getting more constrained in the meeting or are they getting more open? Uh, are we moving faster, uh, you know, in terms of the pacing or is it slowing down? And so this whole energetic flow of the movement of the group is just as important as the symbols that go on the flip chart, as the chairs that they're sitting in, and what everybody's imagining about this. Now, in coming up with this framework, we uh, gave it these words intentionally because they spell out A, E, I, O, which are the vowels in the English language. And the U, of course, refers to you, the facilitator, who manages these four flows through your own personality and your own sense of all four of these things. And uh, communicating your own authenticity is as important as managing these things externally.